Because of a new law, local municipalities are hoping to get more money back on reimbursements related to Medicaid patients. A Wisconsin Act 228, signed into law Friday, requires DHS to submit a Medicaid statement plan amendment to allow Wisconsin EMS providers to take part in supplemental payment opportunities for public and private and EMS providers. If approved by CMS or the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, these supplemental payments could help to alleviate some of the funding pressure on EMS providers. Representative Rob Summerfield of Bloomer, a co-sponsor of this bill, says although this law isn't the silver bullet to solve all EMS funding issues, it's a step in the right direction. We're improved the last few years uh, to be able to, if it's tax credits, you know, helping with different uh, sorts of trainings. Now with this bill to tap uh, some Medicaid uh, funding uh, through Washington, D.C., you know, these are all little pieces uh, to make sure that we have adequate providers uh, for people in the state of Wisconsin, especially the people in the rural areas. Eau Claire Deputy Chief of EMS John Schultz says it's great that this bill was signed into law. He says last year Eau Claire Fire and Rescue billed at Medicaid patients $1.7 million, but they recouped just $240,000. Schultz adds that 20% of patients transported last year were on Medicaid, which is about 1,200 people. The other thing about Medicaid is that they don't, they don't just pay for it. Like if we were to transport somebody, they don't just pay for that. Um, it has to be medically necessary, and there's criteria to be medic of what medical necessity is before Medicaid will pay that bill. So that's another reason that the reimbursement is low. Representative Summerfield says Wisconsin is not the only state to tap into this type of funding.